Hey visionaries, in this video I want to show you a really simple text animation that you can create in a light motion for things like titles and lower thirds using the wipe effect. Open a light motion and start a new project. First I need a background for my graphic. Tap the plus icon and then media. I am going to choose a random clip I took while snowshoeing through the forest as my background. And it is a bit long so I will just pick a good time to trim it off. Then I want to stylize the look of this clip with a couple of effects. First I will use the exposure slash gamma effect and reduce the exposure of this clip. Next I will add the colorize effect and I want to push the color toward the blues. Now that I have my background, I can get started on the text animation. Tap the plus icon and then text. I will center align my text, change the font, increase the size, and change the color to white. Then type your title. For this example, I will just use the word subscribe. Next, I want to make sure the duration of this layer matches the background clip, so I will scroll to the end of the timeline and tap the trim button to extend this layer. The next step is to create the box behind the text. Tap the plus icon and choose shape. Then choose the square. Long press on the right end of the clip to drag it under the text on the timeline. And extend the length to match the other clips. In the Move and Transform menu, use the scaling options to fit the shape to your text. Navigate to the Color and Fill menu and choose a color. For my shape, I will use a gradient. I will tap on the black square and change the color to purple. Then I will tap on the white square and change this color to red. One more thing I want to do is add a drop shadow to the text. Under borders and shadow, type the shadow icon. Tap the switch to enable it. Then I want to increase the size of the shadow and decrease the alpha. Okay, the graphic looks good, so let's start animating. In this case, my text is already in the position where I want it at the end of the animation, so I will work backwards from here. I know I want my animation to end around the 2 second mark, so I will scrub to 2 seconds on the timeline. Then I will set a keyframe for the text position. The text should take 1 second to animate into place, so I will go back 1 second and move the text to its starting position. Next I will do the animation for the box. I want the box animation to finish about 5 frames earlier than the text, so I will go to 2 seconds and back up 5 frames. Then I need to add the wipe effect. I will animate the start property in this effect, so add a keyframe and then scrub to where the animation should start. Again, that would be 5 frames ahead of where the text starts to animate. I will change the start of the wipe at this point to collapse this box down to a small line. I also want to animate the position of the layer so I will set a keyframe here, 
scrub back 10 more frames. And I will swipe up on the control pad to move the layer off the screen. Now since the layer is moving, we can add a motion blur effect. With both pieces animating, the last step is to mask the text so it only shows within the box. To do that, I will create a duplicate copy of the box to use as the mask shape. Long press on the layer tab and press the duplicate button. Drag the new copy to the top of the layers in the timeline. Long press on the tab at the left side of the timeline and then drag down to select both boxes and the text. Then tap the menu button at the top right corner of the screen and select create masking group. Now the text is only visible within the box. And that's one way you can use the wipe effect to reveal text graphics in your videos. Thanks for watching.